Welcome back to my channel where I talk about the NWSL, women's soccer, just soccer, only soccer. In this video slash podcast, I'm going to be discussing the NWSL regular season match between the Seattle Reign and Racing Louisville. All right, so after coming off of a 1-0 win against the North Carolina Courage, the Reign are now set to face Racing Louisville, former home of new Reign player Jalen Howell and new home of former Reign player Bethany Balser. The rain put on a good performance against the Courage. While the first half wasn't all that exciting, the second half was much better, with the midfield in attack playing with more urgency and creating multiple chances. Emery Adamas's header would cause an own goal off the Courage goalkeeper, Casey Murphy. On top of a strong midfield and attacking effort, we got to see better defending and organization from the rain back line. Now, the challenge for the rain is going to involve building consistency across all areas, defense, midfield, and attack, in addition to developing the connection and chemistry in the rain attack, especially now that the rain has new attacking players like Norelia Mondesir and Anna Maria Sarnogoshevic. For this match against Racing Louisville, the rain could likely benefit from starting Veronica Latsko, given her impact in the second half against the Courage. Emery Adamas would have also been good to start, but the team will have to do without her for this game, since she was called up for international duty. Starting Jalen Howell alongside Quinn could provide more control and stability in the midfield. Howell did come on in the second half against the Courage, and I noticed she had a few slip-ups here and there. However, I think once she gets more adjusted to the rain, this could be a good midfielder pairing between her and Quinn. While the rain are known to get more adjusted and kick things into high gear in the second half, the team should try to maintain an aggressive and urgent attack throughout, especially if Louisville manages to score in the first half. That all being said, let's get into the lineup for this all match. Alright, so the lineup. We have Claudia Dickey in the goal. For defenders, Shay Holmes, Phoebe McLaren, Julia Lester, and Sofia Huerta. My cat also just woke up. <laughs> uh, for midfielders, Jess Fishlock, Quinn, and Jalen Howell. For forwards, Zira King, Jordan Haitema, and Anna Maria Cernogolshevic. And here are the substitutes as well. Alright, so I don't really have much to say in regards to lineup notes. But I am looking forward to Jalen Howell and Serna Golshovic. That being said, let's get into the first half. All right, so there is a kickoff delay due to the weather and lightning in the area. The league announced that the match will um, is rescheduled to 9 o'clock p.m. All right, so I have to wait for a little bit, but um, you guys won't if you're watching this. So yeah, I'll see you guys then. All right, so the first half, we are off. Racing are in a 4-2-3-1 with Balser up top. That's going to be fun. <laughs> the Reign are in a 4-3-3. Parkinson is the head coach for this match as Harvey is out due to an illness. All right, so one minute. Rain foul, racing ball. Two minutes, Huerta, bad touch, turnover. Cerna Golshevik fouls, racing ball. Three minutes, Quinn sends it up, racing collects. Four minutes, rain foul, racing ball, taking quickly. Racing down the wing, defended away. Five minutes, racing corner kick, racing header. Dickey gets her hands to it, but not enough to make a save. Racing, 1-0. Um, yeah, so not starting off well, you guys. And really, five or six minutes in? Seven minutes, Haitama up for King, goes out. Nine minutes, racing, long ball, racing in the box, forced away. Racing cross, goes wide, brought down the wing, defended away. 11 minutes, racing corner kick, smacked away by Dickey. Racing attempt goes wide. 12 minutes, ball up to Sarnogoshevic, touched up to Fishlock. Fishlock running into the box. Fishlock brought down in the box. <laughs> racing foul, rain penalty kick. Yeah, from the replay, the, ra um, the racing player got none of the ball and all of Fishlock. 14 minutes, Huerta steps up to take the penalty. Lund gets a touch, um, gets a touch on the ball, but it still goes into the goal. Rain, 1-1. One, one. All right, so the Rain are back in, but they need to keep that pressure up in the attack. 15 minutes, ball sent into the Rain box, Dickey collects. 16 minutes, Rain turnover, Rain foul, racing ball. 17 minutes, racing cross, kicked away, racing player down, Rain foul, racing free kick. 19 minutes, ball sent in, racing header goes wide. Um, Yeah, way too many turnovers in the midfield. 20th minute, racing cross, eventually defended away, cleared. 22 minutes, racing interception and counter, defended away. Racing cross, racing attempt, goes wide, racing cross again, headed away. 
23 minutes, Huerta fouled, uh, rain ball. 24 minutes, rain player down, not sure who. Play continues. Um, yeah, it was Howell that went down. She's okay, though. Ball in the rain box, defended away by McLaren. 26 minutes, racing corner kick, headed away. Racing crossed her attempt from outside, goes wide. 27 minutes, Fishlock plays it up to no one, kicked away. I mean, you could have played it over to Haitema or Senor Golshovic. They would have been able to get open on the wing. 28 minutes, long ball up to Senor Golshovic, headed away. Racing cross or attempt goes wide. Mistake in the back line. <laughs> uh, racing attempt, Dickie collects. I feel like Haitema and Senor Golshovic are too close. Like, they're right on top of each other, and with Louisville's pressure... There's not enough space for them to pass or touch it to the other without it getting taken away. 31 minutes, racing foul, rain free kick, short, played over to Huerta. Huerta sends it in, saved by Lund. 34 minutes, uh, Senor Golshevik making a run, offside. Senor Golshevik cross, Haitama header, saved. 35 minutes, Holmes fouls, racing ball. 36 minutes, Senor Golshevik up to Huerta, Huerta cross, defended away. 37 minutes, King Cross headed away. Racing player Ari down after the fact. Trainer's out to check on her. Concussion protocol. She seems to be okay, though. She is staying in. 39 minutes, game starts up again. 42 minutes, racing long ball, chased down by Lester. Played back to Dickey, but put into the path of a racing player. Dickey with a save. Um, 43 minutes, ball in the rain box. Dickey clears. Racing cross blocked, 44 minutes, racing corner kick, headed up, headed towards goal. And it looks like it was headed in by Howell. Racing 2-1. Okay, they, they're giving that goal to leave uh, Racing's Flint. That's probably a good thing because I was going to say that someone needs to tell Howell that she isn't playing for Louisville anymore. Six minutes of added time, 48 minutes, racing corner kick, short, sent in, Dickey saves. 50th minute, Howell fouled. Rain ball. 51 minutes, racing counter. Lester back to Dickey. Dickey clears. Racing offside. Then whistle blown. First half ends. Rain, 1-2. All right, so it looks like the Rain are struggling to deal with Louisville's pressure in the midfield. Because of that, the Rain aren't getting forward as much as they would like to. The Rain had a few crosses and services, but in order to create more of those chances, they need to put pressure on Louisville in return. They need to regain control of the midfield. There were a few good moments where the midfield and attacking players would steal the ball off Louisville players and make runs towards goal, but they have to do that more often. They have to keep stepping up and challenging Louisville for possession. The rain can also benefit from being quicker with their movement and touches on the ball. At the moment, we're not seeing enough pace or movement in the rain attack. When it comes to the rain's back line and defensive midfield, <laughs> um... Yeah, it's not great. <laughs> There's too many turnovers and there needs to be better control in the midfield. The Reigns defending on set pieces needs to be better. Louisville's goals came from two corner kicks. Hopefully it gets better for the Reign in the second half. Um, they're just 2-1 down. They still have time to come back. However, there needs to be more urgency from the team as a whole. Uh, that being said, let's get into the second half. All right, so the second half, we are off. 46 minutes, racing cross blocked, racing corner kick, Dickey saves. 47 minutes, King fouls, racing ball. I guess she elbowed a player off her. <laughs> uh, 48 minutes, racing cross blocked. 49 minutes, racing corner kick, short, sent in, kicked away, and cleared. 51 minutes, Quinn and Howell are fighting for their lives in the midfield. McLaren and foul shoves someone in the, ba in the back, racing ball. 53 minutes, turnover, played up, racing, uh, running into the rain box, racing attempt, Dickey saves. Rain substitution, King out, G in. 54 minutes, rain foul, racing ball. 56 minutes, Howell fouls, racing free kick, sent in, headed up, played wide, Dickey saves. 57 minutes, racing miss kick, goes out. 58 minutes, Howell fouled, ref plays the advantage. Rain cross, headed away. 59 minutes, where to cross, headed up, goes into the goal off Howell. Goal not given. <laughs> Yellow cards for Howell and racing player DeMello. Uh, yeah, Jalen isn't happy. I'm also not sure how that goal wasn't given, but yeah, we got um, Rain gets a yellow card and so does Louisville. So we both lose in a way. <laughs> 
63, 63 minutes, Haitama up for center Golshevik taken away. 65 minutes, racing cross blocked. 66 minutes, racing corner kick headed away. Racing cross blocked, racing attempt blocked again. Racing cross not quite cleared, racing attempt goes over. 67 minutes, fish lock down, trainers out to check on her. Fish lock coming off, but could be coming, coming back in. Mondesir might be prepping to come in though. Rain back line and defense did something stupid that resulted in racing making an attempt on goal, but it went out, thankfully. 70th minute rain substitutions, Quinn and McLaren out, Mondesir and Barnes in. 72 minutes racing cross, defended away. Um, racing attempt from outside, Dickey saves. 73 minutes fish lock fouled, stepped on. 74 minutes rain free kick outside the box. G scores directly from the free kick. Rain, 2-2. Wow, that was dead on. <laughs> Goes right over Lund. May have skimmed over Ari's head too. 76 minutes, racing attempt from outside, saved by Dickey. Now, if only the rain back line doesn't get opened up like a pack of Oreos, that would be great. 77 minutes, racing cross, headed away. Lester fouled, rain ball. 78 minutes, Howell fouled, rain ball. Taken quickly just to turn it over, not even a second later. 79 minutes, Holmes cross, blocked. 80th minute, rain corner kick, G. I don't think you're going to beat Lund when it comes to height. Sent in, goes wide. <laughs> 81 minutes, rain corner kick, G with a header, scores. Rain, 3-2. She may not be the same height as Lund, but she is beating her. <laughs> um, 82 minutes, racing cross, kicked away. 83 minutes, Mondesir fouled, rain ball. Barnes sends it in, Lund collects. 84 minutes, racing foul or offside, rain ball. Huerta is upset about something. I don't know what that is. 85 minutes, Haitama down, cramp getting stretched out. I think this would be a good time to put in Latsko. And also, Mondesir and G connect really well, too. 87 minutes, game starts up again. Ball sent into the racing box, cleared. 88 minutes, racing cross, kicked away. Racing service, defended away. G making a run over to Haitama, takes it to the corner flag, kicked away. 89 minutes, rain substitution, Cerner Golshevik out, let's go in. 10 minutes of added time, 91 minutes, rain corner kick, Howell header, defended away. Mondesir cross, Mrs. G or someone else, defended away, rain cross goes over. Rain header towards goal, defended away. 92 minutes, racing cross, Dickey with a great save. 93 minutes, racing cross goes out. 94 minutes, ball back to Dickey, cleared. Let's go plays it up, goes out, 95 minutes, let's go fouled, rain ball. Someone got a yellow. Um, where to got a yellow? <laughs> Time wasting, um, yeah, that was pretty obvious. 97 minutes, racing free kicks sent in, Dickey saves. That looked like an attempt too. Um, good read by Dickey. 98 minutes, Mondesir fouls, racing free kick, ball sent in, headed away and cleared. G making a run up to Mondesir, be into it. 99 minutes, Fishlock with a strong clearance into the stands. Ball in the rain box, defended away. Racing cross goes over. 100 minutes, whistle blown, second half ends. Rain wins, 2-3. All right, so early on in the second half, it didn't seem like the rain were getting anywhere. Louisville was still putting pressure on the rain and were creating many chances. On the other hand, the rain were struggling to get forward like in the first half. But then G and Mondesir would come in, and G would end up scoring an amazing goal while also causing the own goal off Aaron Wright. All right, so yeah, it was determined that G's second goal, the third goal for the rain, was actually an own goal off Aaron, Aaron Wright. But on the upside, G did cause it. <laughs> um, as the game started to wind down, there was more urgency from the rain attack. The midfield and attacking players were getting forward and creating more chances. The back line and Dickey also did well holding off Louisville's attack especially in the 10 minutes of additional time. It's still clear that the Rain are needing to work on building consistency across all areas, attack, midfield, and defense. The attack still looks very promising, and perhaps G and Mondesir's attacking partnership would be something the Rain could try to build on more, since these two were making runs and connecting really well with one another. Overall, it was a great and impressive win for the Rain. It just took them a while to get going. However, once this team <laughs> sorts themselves out and plays with more urgency, they can be very dangerous. 
Um, that being said, that is all I have for you guys today or tonight. Congrats to the rain, and I'll see you all in the next one. Later.